Hi everyone, my name is Megan Briar. I've just finished my first year studying history at Jesus College in Oxford. I'm from Carmarthenshire in South West Wales. Um, so today I'll be talking to you a bit about what it's like being Welsh at Oxford and what it's like more generally to cross the border to go to university. I'm a first language Welsh speaker, uh, so I'll be doing parts of the video today in Welsh, but I'll translate everything as I go, so you'll still be able to follow along even if you're not Welsh speaking. Hello, Bawb Ashamai. I ddechrau dwi mi'n i sôn tymud bach am goleg i'r iasu. Mae'r coleg yma yn arbennig achos ei fod wedi cael ei sefydlu gan Gymro o'r enw Hugh Price oedd yn gyfreithiwr ac yn glerigwr. Felly, roedd myfyrwyr cyntaf y coleg i gyd yn glerigwyr Cymreig. Erbyn heddi wrth gwrs, mae pobl o bob blad yn medru dod i'r coleg, ond nid yw'r coleg wedi nghofio i'w reiddau Cymraeg. So Jesus College was established by a Welsh lawyer and clergyman named Hugh Price and its first fellows were all Welsh. By today the college is open for everyone to attend of course, but its Welsh roots are as strong as ever. Although I attend Jesus College, you don't have to choose to apply to Jesus if you are Welsh. I have plenty of Welsh friends at the university who attend different colleges, so no pressure. Either way, Jesus College is always a really good base for Welsh students across the university to come and socialise. By looking closely around Jesus College, you'll find glimpses of its Welsh heritage hiding in plain sight. From the Welsh dragons painted on the college walls, the Celtic floor in the college library, the Welsh mural in the common room, and best of all, the portrait of the college's Welsh founder, Hugh Price, in the hall. Felly dyma ni yn y bedwaredd cod y coleg, sef ar y deilad mwyaf newydd, mwyaf modern sydd gyda ni. Um, a dwi'n ni sôn i chi tymau bach am y ffordd gorau dwi meddwl i gwrdd gyda myfyrwyr Cymreig eraill yn Rhydychen. Um, a hynny yw, i ymuno gyda y Gymdeithas Gymraeg yma'n Rhydychen. Uh, so dyna enw'r Gymdeithas yw Gymdeithas Dafydd Ap Gwilym. Cafodd ei enwi ar yr o beirdd enwogaf Cymru um, o'r canoloesoedd Dafydd Ap Gwilym. Um, a mae wir just yn ffordd greit i yeah, gwrdd y myfyrwyr Cymreig eraill a sicrhau bod chi'n dalatu i gadw traddodiadau Cymreig yn eich bywyd chi yn ddyddiol. Um, dyma'r ail gymdeithas hynaf yn Rhydychen sy'n rhoi tipyn o status byddai ddim meddwl a wneud yn rhywbwysig bwysig a mae'r gymdeithas yn parhau i fod yn ja, actif iawn a parhau i drefnu digwyddiadau i chi gael cymdeithasu gyda myfyrwyr Cymreig eraill. So here we are in the fourth cod of Jesus College. Uh, this is the modern, kind of newest part of the building. Um, it's called the Chang Building. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a bit about what I think is the best way to socialise and meet other Welsh students in Oxford. Um, and that is to join the Welsh Society here, Cymdeithas Dafydd Ap Gwilym. Um, that's what it's called. So it's named after a very famous Welsh bard from the Middle Ages, Dafydd Ap Gwilym. Um, and it's actually the second oldest society in Oxford after the Union, uh, which I think gives it a bit of status. I think that's really important. Um, and the committee, you know, continues to do uh, organise a lot of events for you to kind of meet everyone. And yeah, they're very active. It's a great way to hold on to your Welsh roots and traditions, um, even though you've crossed the border. Um, so often they'll be organising for the society to get together and watch Wales play in rugby games and football games uh, in different pubs. Um, there's also a carol, Welsh Christmas carol service every Michaelmas term. Um, so in December we get to get together in Jesus College Chapel um, and sing a couple of Welsh carols which I think is lovely. Um, there's in a Steadford, we organised that at the same time as the actual a Steadford. Um, again in Jesus College where we get together and there's a couple of um, kind of events, um, so some singing, some harping, um, it's really lovely. Um, there's also a formal dinner and a service held um, for St David's Day and that is the um, national kind of saint um, of Wales, so we get to celebrate that together. Um, there's a big kind of black, pa black tie party normally once a year to celebrate the Welsh Valentine Day. Uh, so that's Do Not Santos doing one. That's kind of the biggest event that the society put on. That's really, really good fun. Kind of everybody turns out to that, so that's brilliant. Um, and yeah, you can join the committee in your second year. You can apply to be part of the committee. It's a very easy going process. Um, and yeah, it's a really great kind of way to get to know more people and just have a good laugh with some of your Welsh friends really. Um, if you're not Welsh speaking, there's a cafe that the society get together in every two weeks um, where second language Welsh speakers or those who don't really have much Welsh um, who wish to practice it um, can get together and speak 
with face language, fluent Welsh speakers. Um, so that happens once every two weeks. So it's just, I think, a nice way to um, yeah, increase your confidence in speaking Welsh and, and to get a chance to practice it. I can ail blwydd yn chi, gallwch chi hyd yn oed ymgeisio i fod yn rhan o'r pwyllgor sy'n rhedeg cymdeithas Dafydd Ap Gwilym. Um, a mae yna li o'r olau ar gael, allwch chi fod yn drysorydd, allwch chi fod yn swyddog cymdeithasol, dyna yw rôl fi yn y flwyddyn i ddod, allwch chi fod yn swyddog cyfryngau cymdeithasol. Um, neu chi'n dynnoed caplan os chi'n tamlo fel arwain y gymdeithas. Um, felly fi'n credu y pwynt fi'n trael wneud yw, os chi'n dod i'r ddinas newydd yma, um, sy'n tamlo eithaf diaeth yr, olly bod ddim lot o bobl chi'n nabod yma, um, mae'r gymdeithas wir yn cynnig sens o gymdeithas, uh, o gymuned reidi, a, a pobl sy'n dod yr un o'r dal oedd chi, yn rhan i'r un diwylliant i chi, ac o bosib hyd yn oed yn rhan i'r un iaith i chi. Um, a i fi, nath hwnna'n i fi dymlo fersi fi'n perthyn yn rhy dechen yn barod, um, ac o'r cychwyn yn syth. So I think what I'm trying to say is that you will meet people in the Welsh society who are from the same areas as you, who share the same culture as you, and potentially even the same language as you, um, which I think makes you feel like you belong in Oxford already. There's a sense of community there, I think. Um, so you really shouldn't have to feel intimidated by the idea that you're crossing the border to go to university. It should be an exciting prospect that you're getting to widen your horizons, um, meet new people and explore new areas while holding on to your Welsh heritage. So I think you can get the bo best of both worlds. Os ydych chi fel fi a wedi gwneud hyd yn hyn rhan fwyaf o'ch addysg chi drwy gyfrwng y Gymraeg, falle fyddwch chi'n poeni amdano newid i wneud hynny drwy gyfrwng y Saesneg, achos yn Rhydychen a mewn prifysgolion uh, yn Lloegr mi fyddwch chi'n sgwennu um, ac yn gwneud i'ch tutorials chi ar lafar um, yn Saesneg. Felly, falle bod hwnna'n poeni rai ohonoch chi, o ddyn sicr yn poeni fi pan ddechreus i, um, achos o'n un yn wybodol iawn bod yn sgiliau Saesneg i ddim o'r grif yn rhai Cymraeg i. Um, ond wir, nes i ddarganfod yn gloi, bod dim resm i boeni. Um, mae'r newid yn dod lot yn fwy, na ti'r iolna bych chi'n meddwl. Um, felly, beth sy'n digwydd yn rhy dechen mewn rhan fwyaf o bynciau um, dyniaethau, a hefyd mewn tip yn y rhai stem hefyd, um, yw byddwch chi'n cael treithdawd ar wythnos, treithodau byr um, ar hyd y flwyddyn gyntaf. Um, ond dyw'r treithodau wythnosol yma ddim yn cyfru tuag at eich gradd terfynol chi. Um, felly, i'r holl bwrpas nhw yw bod nhw'n cynnig rhywbeth o ymarfer i chi, um, cyfle chi'n wneud gwallau ac angymeriadau um, ac i ddysgu ohono nhw wedyn. Um, a ti'r tutoriad beth yn feirniadol, mae nhw'n wastad bod yn rili really garedig i fi am beth i'r peth. Dyn nhw beth rili yn chymond, rhoi stwyr i chi am wneud camgymeriadau gramadegol, dim dyna beth maen nhw'n poeni am, maen nhw'n poeni am um, eich dialltoriad chi o'r pwnc yn fwyaf um, dynau blaenoriaeth nhw. Um, felly, chymo, os mae'n helpu, gallwch chi hyd yn oed esbonio iddyn nhw mae Saesneg i'ch ail iaith chi. Um, ond dwi'n sicr ddim yn rhywbeth chi bod yn poeni am, um, a dylech chi definitely ddim gadael i ddal chi nôl o dod i chi dychan, um, achos mae'n her sy'n gallu cael ei oresgyn yn rhwydd iawn. Felly, gobeithio bod fi wedi gallu dangos chi tymed bach am be mae'n fel i fod yn Gymro yn rhy dychan. Hopefully, I've been able to show you a bit of what it's like to be a Welsh person in Oxford. Um, and how it's very possible to keep a hold of your Welsh language and Welsh culture, even though you've crossed the border to go to university. There's a saying in Welsh, Cymro gorau yw Cymro oddi cartref, which roughly translates as, the proudest Welsh people are those away from home. I think it means that your sense of pride in being Welsh is amplified when you're away from home, which I think summarises this video really well. So thank you very much for watching. Diolch yn fawr am wylio. Hwyl am y tro.